starting semi supine. Bring the feet flat onto the floor. Roll the spine down. Bring the hands either side of the belly button. Settle the shoulders into the mat. The back of the skull. Relax the neck and the shoulders. And breathe into the hands. Deep abdominal yogic breaths. Gently open the eyes. We bring the knees above the hips. The heels in line with the knees at a right angle. Bring the hands onto the thighs. Press the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands. Engaging the abs. Bring the feet back to the floor. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Ground the palms, ground the feet. Inhale. Exhale, into bridge, Sethi Bandhasana. Feel the feet contacting with the earth. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the knees and the heels. Exhale, release. Lift up the knees, over the hips, engaging the abs, feet flexed, level with the knees. Palms onto the thighs, pushing against the thighs and resisting. Release down. That's woken up the core. Inhale. Deep breath into the front of the body. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands alongside the body, palm down. Ground those feet. Lift all the toes and then place them back down onto the mat. Feel all corners of the feet engaged with the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting into bridge pose. Lengthening the tailbone away from you. Exhale down. And take some neck rolls. Roll the head from side to side. Bring the knees over the hips. Take the arms, the elbows out, hands alongside the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left leg. Straighten out the right leg to the hopper. Inhale. Exhale. Take that the other way. Inhale. Exhale. Working the obliques. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. Bring the hands on that distance apart. Take the arms out, either hands level with the shoulders or cactus. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees over to the right. Breathe. 
breathe a little twist, take the gaze in the opposite direction to the legs. Inhale up, exhale across to the other side, drop the legs over to the left, take the gaze to the right. Inhale to come up. Take the knees above the hips, hands level with the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand to the outside of the right leg. Straighten out the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the tailbone lifted. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale. Some deep breaths into the abdomen. Giving the right knee a hug, stretching out the left leg, keeping the left leg and foot engaged, or you can flex the right foot. Starting to stretch out the hip. Switch sides. Hug both knees in. Take a little walk around there. Keeping the knees hugged in, take the arms wide or cactus depending on how much space you have. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees over to the right hand side. If the neck's comfortable, take the gaze to the left. Inhaling. Lifting. Exhaling. Across to the left. Option to take the gaze to the right. Grounding the right shoulder. Inhale to come up. Exhale, feet back to the mat. Reclined pigeon. Flex the right foot. Bring the right foot onto the left thigh. Open up the hip. To extend the stretch, we can lift up the left leg. Switching sides. Coming back to the position we first started in with the feet flat on the mat. Inhale, take the arms overhead, lift the hips up. Exhale, lowering. Inhaling, lifting the arms and the hips. Exhale to lower. Inhaling, up. Keeping the hips lifted. Bring the hands alongside the body. Option to interlace the fingers, keeping the elbows and upper arms engaged with the mat. For a stronger lift, option also to come onto tiptoe. And 
the knees down on an exhale. Take your hands behind your knees. Take a rock around. You can either come onto one side to come up to seated or take a few spinal rolls. Piling up to sit. We'll take the right shin in front of the left, flexing the feet, sitting tall, grounding the sit bones, crown of the head lifting. Take an inhale, exhale, gently fold, keeping the spine long. Breathe into the stretch through the outer hips. Coming to upright, taking elbows and opposite hands, side bending over to the right. Lifting up, lifting the rib cage away from the pelvis. Exhaling, across to the left. Inhale, exhale, release the hands, change the cross to left, this time the left shin is in front, sitting tall, inhaling, exhale, fold, keeping the sit bones grounded to get that nice stretch through the outer hips, keep the feet flexed and active. Walking yourself up, inhale, take the arms up, taking hold of opposite elbows, side bending to the left. Inhale to lift, side bending to the right. Inhale to lift, exhale, release. Make your way through to cat. Make sure there's a little bend in the elbow so they're not locked out. Fingers are spread, shoulders away from ears, knees directly underneath hips. Cat cow, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, down dog. Taking the sit bones back and up. Keeping as much of a bend as you need in the knees to elongate the spine. Keeping the toes tucked under. We come back through to cat to help wake up the feet. Inhale, cat cow. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to drop. the knees down. You can untuck the toes so the tops of the feet have contact with the mat. Taking the right leg back, keeping the hips level. Inhale. Exhale, knee towards shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, knee towards shoulder. Inhale, exhale back to cat. Take a rounded breath with flat back. Take 
taking the left leg back, flexing the foot. Taking a breath or two there, keeping the hips level, engaging the abs. Inhale. Exhale. Knee towards shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Knee towards shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Cat. Take the knees wide, big toes together. Sink back to child's pose. If it's uncomfortable to take your hips all the way back to the heels, you can pop up a cushion in between. Completely relax the shoulders and the neck. Bring the third eye with the space between the brows into contact with the mat, stacked hands or stacked fists. Make your way back through to cat. We take the right leg back level with the hip. Left arm comes forward. Inhale. Exhale. Elbow to opposite knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back through the cat. Other side. Left leg stretches back. Flex the foot. Keep the hips level. Inhale. Take the right arm out. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Inhaling. Reaching that heel back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back through the cat. Take the knees wide, big toes together. Take another rest in child's pose. Coming back through to cat. Tuck the toes under, inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale in plank, straight and rigid. Make sure your elbows aren't locked out. Shoulders away from ears. And your hips aren't sagging down. Exhale, back to dog. Walk the feet forwards, elbows in opposite hands, let the head hang. Release the arms, slowly curl up to stand, stacking each vertebra. Slowly bringing the head up. Coming to Tadasana, feeling the contact of the soles of the feet with the earth. Taking hold of your ball. First place it under the sole of the right foot. Roll the ball in zigzags across the foot, putting some weight on it as you can bear. All the way up to the toes. The toes can sit around the ball of the foot, massaging that space there. And now we can take some pressure just above the heel in the arch and just below the ball of the foot. 
pressure points there. Waking up slowly with it. We switch to the left side. Rolling the ball in zigzags. the ball underneath the toes, gathering the toes around that ball, bringing the ball just above the heel, applying some pressure, bringing the ball into the arch of the foot, applying pressure, bringing the ball just below the ball of the foot, applying some pressure there. And release. Close the door. We'll now come back to Tadasana. Feet with about a fist width of space between them. Open up the palms. Lift through to the crown of the head. Feel the energy through the soles of the feet that we've released through the rolling, stimulating all the nerve endings, which correspond to different parts of the body. From here we'll rock gently backwards and forwards, toes and heels. Tadasana. Grab your chair, with the back of the chair facing towards you. Make sure it's somewhere that it won't slip. Ideally place it on the mat. Keeping the feet around hips width apart, bringing the hands onto the chair and walking back until you get a strong L shape, hips above feet, spine aligned and the head neither lifting up nor dropping down. So you get a nice line through the whole of the spine, including the back of the neck. Imagine someone's gently pulling back on your hips. Engage the abs so you're not sinking into the shoulders. towards the chair. Move it out of the way of your mat. Coming to the top of your mat. Grounding the feet in Tadasana. Inhale. Bring the palms together. Exhale. Sitting back. Taking left elbow over right thigh into twisted chair. Karavriti Utkatasana. Release the hands down to the mat. Step back with the right leg into a lunge. From here, ground the hands. Step back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Feeling the feet firm grounded, supporting you. Exhale to the floor, untuck toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Tuck the toes under. 
all the way to down dog. Inhale, plank. Bringing the weight into the right hand and the right foot, we come through to side plank. You can pop the bottom knee down if it's too strong in a full pose. Exhale, plank. Take that to the other side. right leg, three-legged dog, pull the right knee towards the right wrist, ease the left leg back till you feel a pleasant stretch through the outer right hip for pigeon. If this is uncomfortable for your knee then take the Clyde pigeon that we did at the beginning of class in our limbering. relax into pigeon, stay up on the palms if that's comfortable, onto the forearms or rest the head on to stacked hands. Bring the palms back onto the mat. Tuck the back toes under, we'll all meet in down dog. Lifting the right leg, three legged dog. Dipping the right foot between the hands, lunge. Feeling the back toes active. From here, just slightly walk the hands forward, keep the hips level. Lift the back leg up, level with the hips, to come into Flamingo. Stretch the back heel away. Step the feet together. Half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Fingertips to the shins or the floor. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, lift up into chair. Exhale, all the way up to Tadasana. I'll take that to the other side. Inhale, bring the palms together. Exhale, bending the knees, sinking the hips back, turning towards your left. Right upper arm hooks over left thigh. Keep the knees from going wonky, keep them in line with each other. Turning from the navel through the spine. Release the hands down. Step back with the left leg into a lunge. Ground the hands. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, plank. Keeping the tailbone long, tops of the feet engaged, inhaling to cobra. Exhale, plank. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Breathe in the plank. We bring the weight into the right hand, right foot. Opening up into side plank. Option to put that bottom knee on the floor into a half plank. Back through to plank. 
inhale and to the left side. Out, inhale, down, exhale, down, dog. Left leg lifts, three legged dog. Step the left knee towards the left wrist. Work the right leg back to pigeon. Release and relax down. Again, taking reclined pigeon if that's more comfortable for your knees. Walking the hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes under, inhale, exhale, down dog. Take a round breath in down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Step it between the hands into lunge. Back heel lifted, strong in your lunge. Walk the hands forwards. Keep the hips level, lifting the back leg nice and straight there, level. Stepping the feet together, half forward fold, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Sink the hips down, inhaling, reach Tatasana, chair pose. Exhale, inhale all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Take a round breath. We'll take some balances now, just to settle the energy after that activity. Bringing the weight into the right foot. Feel free to pop a hand on a chair, table, or wall to help you balance. We lift up the left leg, keeping the hips level and balanced. Flexing the lifted foot. Opening the palms, inhale. Exhale, turning towards your left. Releasing on an inhale, exhale, Tadasana. Take that to the other side, bringing the weight into the left foot, keeping the hips level, inhaling up the right knee, opening, inhale, exhale, turning towards your right. And release down. We'll take pigeon in a tree now. We've done quite a bit of work on the hips today. Bringing the weight into the right leg. Flex the left foot, bring it onto the thigh. Keep the palms together and sit back to that lovely stretch through the outer hips. If you would like a challenge, you can bring opposite elbow to the sole of the foot. Carefully untwist and come to upright. Release down. Take some deep breaths. Pausing. Take that to the other side. Bringing the weight into the opposite foot. Lifting up the knee. Bringing the 
Heel onto the opposite side, hands together in prayer. Sinking down. Option of the challenge, bringing elbow to opposite foot. Releasing on an inhale, exhale, Tadasana. A little standing flow now before our peak pose. Come to the top of the mat. Step back with the left foot into a lunge. Keep the heel high or pop the foot down if this is too much. Keeping the hips level, inhale, opening up the front of the body. On an exhale, we place the back heel down, coming into warrior two. Back edge of the back foot is strong and the torso is aligned over the hips. Take the gaze down the middle finger with the front hand, really feeling into the feet, into the earthing as we get through the soles of our feet into the ground. Inhale, lifting into reverse warrior. Straighten without locking the front leg. Exhale, keep the back leg strong, all the way over into Trikonasana. Bend the front knee, come back into warrior two. And now we turn the back foot to come into a high lunge. Bring the palms together. Exhale, left elbow over right thigh. Come into a twist there. Release the hands down. Step forward, Sitanasana. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Take a rest there in our forward fold. Allow the head to be heavy. We roll all the way up. Bringing the shoulders up towards the ears. Sliding the shoulder blades down the back, leveling out the chin. We'll take that to the other side. Coming to Tadasana. Stay finger back with the right leg into a lunge, back heel lifted, or pop it down if it's too wobbly. Inhale. Lifting the ribs away from the pelvis. Exhale, turning into warrior two. Back leg is strong, torso is stacked, front knee is tracking the middle toes and not rolling in, so opening the hips there. Take the gaze down the middle finger of the front hand, feel steady in your warrior. Inhale, reverse walk. Straighten without locking the front leg. Reach forward, exhale. Trick on our spine. Bending the front knee, coming back to warrior two. Swiveling the back foot, bringing your alignment, your energy forwards into a lunge, Anjani Asana. Bring the palms together, right upper arm over left thigh, Kari Britti Anjani Asana, twist of love. Drop the 
kind of either side of the front foot. Step forward. Take a rest there in Uttanasana for 12. Allow the head to be heavy. Gently roll up to stand, stacking the vertebrae. Shoulders up, rounding down, opening the palms. Time for our peak pose, which is supported warrior three, which is great with the chair. Again, make sure your chair facing away from you so it can't tip over and it can't slide or either. We bring the hands onto the chair, step back into our L chair that we did at the start of class. Keep these hips width apart, keeping the hips level. We gradually draw the right leg up and back Stretching the heels back, finding that line of energy. And the front hands to the back heel, keeping the whole spine aligned with the upper arms, including the back of the neck. Bring the foot down. Walk the feet forwards. Take a rest in Tadasana. Other side. Bring the hands onto your chair. Walk the feet back. Find your L shape. Feet hip width apart. Hips stay level. We lift the left leg. Keeping the back foot flexed. Keeping the lift up into the abs so we're not sinking into the hips. Line of energy from the hands running all the way through the spine. That back heel. Stepping the foot down, walking the feet forwards, coming back to Tadasana. Well done. Deep breaths there. It's a strong pose, and we get beautiful alignment by using the chair as a prop. Coming down to the floor, higher a squat. You can either take a high squat with the feet stepped wide, feet at 45, knees over, ankles. Or you can come through to Malasana if your knees aren't grumbly about that. Open up the hips, settle the energy with a nice grounding pose here, close to the ground, opening the hips. Bringing the bottom onto the floor. Placing the feet hip width apart. Hands just behind the hips. Interspace forwards. Take an inhale, open up shoulders. Exhale, lift the hips. Reverse tabletop. Purvottanasana. Exhale, we come down. Hands just behind the thighs, lifting up the feet, engaging the abs, keeping the spine nice and strong, engaging the feet, saying hello to your toes. Feet hip width apart, hands just behind the hips, open the shoulders, inhale, exhale, reverse tabletop, either keep the chin tucked in if you have neck issues, I know some of you like to drop your head back. Exhale. Hands behind the thighs, sitting tall. Lifting up into Navasana, boat pose. Option to take the hands away, option to straighten the legs. And breathe. 
do a little bit more work on releasing the hips. We'll cradle the left chin and just give that hip a rock there. We've done lots of mobilising of the hips today. We can just complete some of that work. Some of you may want to take the foot into the crook of the elbow if it's comfortable. Make sure the back doesn't round too much. Otherwise stick with the, with the rocking of the shin as we were just doing. Switching sides. Cradling the left shin, one hand on the foot, one hand on the knee. Lubricating that hip socket. Some of you may wish to take the foot into the crook of the elbow. Release that. Feet hip width apart. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop the knees over towards the right hand side. Just sitting up from here. For some of you, that left knee may sit comfortably in the sole of the right foot, otherwise, keep the knees stuck. Ground the sit bones. Take an inhale, exhale, turning towards the right. A gentle twist there. Take the head in the opposite direction. Do a little over twist in there. Unwind the neck. Inhale forwards. Exhale. De rotate the other way. And then we take the neck in the opposite direction. Facing forwards and releasing from that spiral shape. Take a moment there in neutral. We drop the knees across to the left side. Again, for some of you, that right knee to sit comfortably in the sole of the left foot. Ground the sit bones. On the exhale. Turning towards the left. And taking the head in the opposite direction. We get a lovely stretch through the neck there. Unwind the neck. Take an inhale. Exhale. De rotate the other way. Turning towards your right. Give the option to. Take the neck there over the opposite shoulder, over your left shoulder. And carefully neutral. Okay, our restorative pose today is legs on the chair. <coughs> so bring your chair with your face towards you. Have a pillow handy. It's very important for restorative poses to have the forehead slightly higher than the chin. So maybe just a small pillow might be needed underneath the head. I like to place a blanket on top of the chair. Makes it nice and comfy for the legs to rest. You might also want a blanket to go over your legs to keep you warm. And tucking the blanket around stops your legs falling apart from each other. So there's different ways of getting into this. Easy is probably to wrap your legs up first. Take the legs onto your support and again you want a 90 degree angle 
you want to feel comfortable, you can maybe put a support a blanket under your hips or experiment with the height of the chair with blankets either on or off. You want your lower back to be really comfortable and no pressure on the back of your knees. If you tuck the blanket in, it stops the legs falling off the chair. Bring the pillow so it's touching the shoulders but not under the shoulders. Make sure your elbows and wrists are supported so you're, there's no effort in your arms. Make sure your lower back is super comfy. Take some deep breaths in and out into the abdomen. Gently close the eyes if you're comfortable to do so. Stay here as long as you like, pop the video on pause, when you're ready to come out of the pose, start wiggling the hands and the feet, make movements through the head, and come onto one side, just slide the legs off the chair for a while, make sure your head is supported. It's important to come out of the restorative poses nice and slowly. Our body's moved into the rest and digest system and doesn't want to be shocked out of that. And it can take quite a few minutes for the body to really sink in to that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest mode. So give your body time and you'll find that you'll come into a real beautiful stillness once you give it a little bit of time to adjust, especially if you've been on the go during the day. Please do stay in the restorative poses for 10 minutes. Once you've given yourself time on your side, make your way up to sit. Namaste. Right thoughts, right words. Right intent.